she's the most beautiful Kaboom Viper I've ever seen in my life. Can't forget to give you guys an update on the baby boas. Guys, I'm gonna head over to Joey's. Excuse me. I love these guys so much. Look how cool this guy is. Look at, look at his legs. That's insane. That's Will's albino monocled cobra. Now, uh, I can't leave you without an update on all the animals. So let's really quickly show you a couple things that's going on right now. So I'm going to come over here and show you. Let me try and show you this. Kevin. His box. Look at that. Kevin's in there, he's a little upset, he doesn't want to mess with me, but he's doing real good, so finally got a chance to show you guys how he's doing, uh, actually get a good look at him. Uh, the Puff Adders, they're doing great, as you can see, nice and pink and beautiful. Those are my Puff Adders, and those are Will's right there, making a mess in their water like usual. Rhino Viper's right in there, utilizing that hide. Pygmy's hiding in there. The future. Mama K. And guys, check out the Waggler's Viper. She's getting ready to go through shed. Her eyes have a bluish hue to them. She's gonna look so pretty. I gotta make sure I get that on video. Speaking of sheds, I just noticed that Pinky, the Gaboon Viper, the one that belongs to me, she is doing real good. She just shed. Let me get a light on this camera real quick. Give me one second. Okay, now you guys can get a better look at her. Wow, this is the first time I've seen her. Shouldn't she shed? That is insane. She looks in, I, I can't get over it. I have no words to express it. Look at the hourglasses on her body. Look how yellow they are. The contrast between the pinks, the purples. Look how beautiful this snake is. She is such a gem. I love this Gaboon Viper. I can't wait for her to be as big as Will's. Will's is just as beautiful. Well, it doesn't have as much pink as my, actually no, she does have a lot of pink. She's just as beautiful as well. Gaboon Vipers have to be one of my favorite venomous reptiles. It's a bit of a mess, I know. There's a lot of stuff on the floor. We've been working on some stuff in here. What I should do right now is actually, let me put this light. So it's lighting up the whole area as I do this. There we go. Perfect. Now I'm going to unlock the cage. And let me, let me just grab some tongs. Let me, should, yeah, that's a good idea. Let me just slide this glass back. There we go. Keep myself at a safe distance from the strike zone. There we go. Beautiful shed. Can I have it? Thank you. Look at that. I'm going to put that right there. Big, beautiful shed. Put this up here. Look how beautiful she is. I cannot get over. I, she is such a beautiful snake. Uh, my jaw just dropped the second the light hit her. This is the first time I've seen her since she shed, and she looks amazing. This is insane. One of the prettiest snakes on the planet, the Kaboon Viper. Right, sweetie? Hmm? Right, sweetie? I mean, look how beautiful she is. It is insane how the, the craziest colored animals on the planet, whether it's poison dart frogs in South America among the different species with their different designs, or the different vipers on the planet, or, you know, the cobras. The, well, this right here is not commonly found out in the wild. It's a skin mutation. It's albino. But just to prove, let's look, just look, okay, I'm going to move away. I don't want to upset them. I don't want to hit his face on the glass anymore. Now, the thing is, vipers and dart frogs, all these animals are so beautiful. It's crazy because the most beautiful things on the planet are usually the most deadly because those beautiful colors are a warning. Man, awesome stuff. I uh, definitely want to... Oh, can't forget to give you guys an update on the baby boas. What's going on, babies? Let me just move this around. They are all a little poop in there. That's good. They're digesting that food. They're doing pretty good. Let me take some out. Look at this. Look how beautiful these boas are. So cool. I love these guys so much. Beautiful animals. They're going to start eating... Rat pups pretty soon. They're getting large very quick. They digest all that yolk a couple weeks back and had their first meals. They're super inquisitive animals, always looking around, always exploring. They're very active compared to something like a ball python. I love these guys. So cool. And it's awesome because they're arboreal, so they're really active when it comes to climbing. They always want to go up higher and higher. Look at this. So cool. What's up, baby? What's up, Judy? Awesome. Let me put these guys back. There you go. There you go. Go home. Go home. <laughs> where, where are you going? Don't go anywhere. Put it right back there. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. I'll have to come back later to do some cleaning. There we go. 
And they don't have a heat lamp, but they do have a heat pad underneath warming up, so it helps them digest their food. Perfect. All right, guys, I'm gonna head over to Joey's. Pl Excuse me. All right, guys, I'm gonna head over to Joey's place. We're gonna go check out this tadpole he's got and try and see what kind of species, what kind of frog it's gonna turn into. It's pretty large, and he says it's starting to eat boiled lettuce. We're gonna go check it out. We're gonna get a better look at it, and uh, we're gonna go check out his fish that he keeps. He's got some very cool predatory fish. That's gonna be cool, right? All right, guys, we're here at Joey's place. Uh, I don't know where he is, so I'm gonna have to make the special Joey mating call. Skoo! Skoo! Whoa! Okay. Oh, what's going on? What's we got going Joey on, Slam. What's, what's going what's on, up, man? Guys? I heard you have a, a very interesting specimen you want to show me. Yes, uh, I have a mutant tadpole. A mutant tadpole. A very mutant giant tadpole got it. Why, why is he a mutant? What's wrong with him? Because it's so big. I, I did see a picture. He does look thick. We gotta go check him out. Let's, Let's go identify out. this guy. He, he seems pretty cool from the photos and videos I've seen. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, I had to come see him in person. I want to hold this thing. Check it out. It's, it's insane, guys. Like, he just got some freaking giant little arms. So they're not <laughs> He's really got giant. little arms? He's... He has little arms. Alright guys, check it out. It's like a little makeshift tank. You can do it at home. Here's some egg crates you can get at Home Depot. I just added this plant and I posted a video that includes Chandler. So you guys better check that video out also. <laughs> and then this plant is for cover, but there is our little friend. Oh, right dude. This guy's awesome. He's he, big. Look he's at amazing. him. He's amazing. Look at him. Oh, look how cool that is. And he's on his way to becoming a full-grown frog. I'm thinking this is a bullfrog. The cool thing is he just evolved. He's going through metamorphosis right now, and he just got his arms. I'm going to go ahead and take him out dude, gently. Go for it. So you can see him. He's awesome, and now he has little, little oh, arms. Dude, look how cute he is! He's look at his little dirt face. Guys, check him out. He just got these arms. I've had them for a little over a week now. And look, hello. Oh, so he, he definitely really flexing. Yeah, he is. So soon enough, he's gonna be ha developing his lungs. Now, this little tank, I'm gonna put him down so he can just live his little life. Look at him, throw away, hi. Dude, look how cool that is. It's amazing. It's That's amazing. all. Look at his little arms. And look at the patterns. He's such a. He's gonna be such a beautiful bullfrog. And the cool thing is, it's like I, I had some fun because it's like a do-it-yourself tank. Tank's cheap. And then I had some leftover sand from my tank that's inside, which is full of goldfish, which I'll have Chandler come another, another time, film my, uh, my my giant goldfish tank. Oh, I'd love to see that. Dude, it's like, honestly, it's close to four or 500 goldfish. Like, it's crazy. And I have a giant goldfish also. Now, I went ahead and I drained out some water and stuff so that now that he's gonna be developing some lungs, he needs some dry area, so obviously he doesn't drown. Yeah. So sometimes I find him just scurrying around right here and then whoop, just chilling up there, getting some sun, then back down, and that's why I have this cover. It's not too, too some much. Fake hydrilla. Yeah, it's total fake hydrilla, and then you just scoop it up in there, and just chill just like that, and that's Good it. Good hiding it spot. Him. It's perfect. He'll get in, he's about the same color, and it's, it's just perfect. Wait, wait, wait. Can I hold him real quick? Yeah, you know what? Oh, okay, right. I gotta hold him real quick. You yeah. want me to? On an empty stomach, 100%. Let's do it. There we go. What I'm doing is I'm wetting my hands before I handle them because when you handle amphibians, you gotta make sure your hands are moist because they have wet skin, kind of like a fish, and you don't wanna mess up their mucous membrane. Look how cool this guy is. He's so dark compared to him where I got him. Look at his legs. That's insane. Doing a great job raising him up. Oh, he's got a little niche in the tail. What happened to him right there? I think, you know what? Um, during transport from the kid's house in there, the rocks moved around. Oh. And actually squished it, but. Well, the good thing is that tail's gonna get absorbed as he gets older, which is in the next two weeks, he's gonna be a full-fledged bullfrog. So that tail's gonna get absorbed. That kink in the tail's not gonna be a problem because that tail won't exist anymore. Look how cool that is. This is uh, amazing. What's his name? Honestly, his name is Poliwag. Poliwag? Like the Pokemon? Like the Poliwag? That's cool, because like the Pokemons, they evolve. And yes. this guy, he's evolving. Look at his cute little, oh, what are you doing? Look at his cute little face. Look at him, he's like, hello, my friend. I just wanted to say subscribe to Chandler's Wild Life and Joe Slay. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Dude. Okay, we're gonna put that. Oh! He just jumped right back in. That's cool. And you know what I love about this is growing up, I did this stuff all the time before my parents uh, approved of me having big bow constrictors and monitor lizards as pets. I would sneak around the lakes in the backyard, catch turtles and tadpoles, and raise them up in my in the backyard and on the side of the house where my parents couldn't see. So I love seeing stuff like this. It's easy to do at home, and if uh, your parents are allowing you to do it, then it's fun. Raise up some tadpoles, grow up some frogs. It's I agree. It's one of the coolest things ever. Like, look at this guy. 
and soon enough he'll be jumping around and possibly free when he, once he evolves i'm gonna name him poliwhirl just like the whole pokemon thing because you know they're actually called polywogs when they're actually uh with not without arms and now they're technically called a froglet look at him go he's See? crazy he's moving around right now he's about to go ahead and get some air possibly it's just so impressive how big he is how big he is in your hands he's not like a tiny little uh bufo toad the cane toads that are invasive here in south florida he's not like one of those tiny little tadpoles he's big he's got girth to him man He's the coolest thing of all time. I can't wait for him to be fully evolved and then you can take him down the streets and have him fight other Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs>